So here is my 2.5 swap for the Miata. This engine came from LKQ. They shipped it across the country for a couple hundred bucks and the engine itself was a little bit over 400. The total shipped here was only $700. Now, before I put this in the Miata, I'm gonna add some stage one camshafts. These are them here. And I took the opportunity to check the valve lash right now. The base circle on these camshafts is exactly the same as the stock cam, so it should work out the same. Once I bolt them in, I'll double check the valve lash, but right now everything is within spec, so I don't really need to do any buckets, which is great. I'm gonna tear this down and put the cams in, and then next weekend I'm going to swap the engine in or attempt to swap the engine in. Now, if you take a look in here, the valves look relatively new. And this engine only had 10,000 miles on it. Let's take a look at the exhaust side. Let's see if any of those are open. This one is open right here. Here's the exhaust side. Of course, that's gonna be more dirty than the other ones, but this is a 10,000 mile engine. And man, it looks brand new. So I'm really excited to toss that in. So next I headed out to Willow Springs to meet up with Mitchell and test drive his cammed 2.5 Miata. Unfortunately, as I was pulling out for my first session, I saw Mitchell coming off the track, getting pulled by the tow truck. A piston, you see the, the piston boot on the caliper, how it turned into gum, like, like goo? Oh shit, <laughs> shit. <laughs> I'll show you the hub. This is how, it was like this too when we got, when I got off the truck. It was literally only a couple turns. Jeez, man. Did, did that, this not rotating cause it to unscrew, you think? Mm, like maybe the axle was it, going forward? Yeah, like something had to give. Yeah, yeah. maybe. Because this was locked. The caliper, it's like the e-brake was stuck. Right. I don't know, dude, that was crazy. I'm so glad it happened going straight though, because you, because yeah. if this would have. Fortunately for me, there were a couple other 2.5 swapped Miatas at the racetrack, and you may recognize these cars from YouTube. Yeah. All right, 2.5, what are the cams? We got the 2.5 with the Brian Crower. It's the BC0402, which okay. are like the stage three. Okay. Um, pretty aggressive, you know, good good balance between street and track. It's got a like a good low bed idle, but it's not like undrivable on the street either. Um, it's got the valve springs, retainers, uh, stock bottom end, stock pistons, and then pretty much the factory manifold 550cc uh, injectors by Bosch. It's got the Goodman Racing uh, Max Power Catless Header. And then it's got the dual resonated midpipe and the Tomei muffler. So no cats. It's all straight through. Cool. Okay. Um, DC intake, you know, little accessories here, the Morosso tank, small motorcycle battery, uh, race, yada, yada, yada. You know, catch can. Um, pretty. Pretty good little hybrid, uh, you know, street and track, dual duty. Cool. Yeah, NA build. Sweet. I set up my clutch pedal okay. to, to engage pretty early, like at the bottom of the travel. Okay. So just get a feel for it, you know what I mean? Because I, I know guys that like have their pedal set up really far up, so they'll stall it right away just to get an idea. Yeah. You see what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, and it's, it's pretty, gra like it's kind of in between like a stock and a grabby clutch, but it's not like an install the engine right away. What? You why is your, it's so smooth. What's going on here? What do you, what? You, so in there, I got the brass bushing. Okay. But what makes the biggest difference is the fact that I just, I have fresh engine mounts. I have fresh diff mounts. Okay. And I'm running that brace up top. So what fluid you run? The Motocraft Unicorn Tears. Okay. Yeah, you got to. That's what I, that's what I run too. Yeah, on the six speeds, they love it. The, the six speeds love the Motocraft, but um. Mine's just getting old. I, I have a, how, how often do you flush it? Like how many track days? Um, I try to do it once a year. Okay. Yeah, so like what I, last year I did four track days or three. It was that, you know? If I did 10 track days, I'd probably still do it the same unless it got crunchy or whatever. Okay. Yeah. Um, what else? Yeah, pretty much got that. The tranny. I did buy a lower mile unit from a like a auto wrecker, like okay. a junkyard. And this tranny is still an 06 tranny, but it's it's supposedly got like 50,000 miles on it. Nice. Uh -huh. I, I have my backup tranny at home, which has got like 180 on it. Okay. And this car has two, that's chassis. All, all chassis. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I know. That's why I'm tripping, dude. I, I'm definitely going to do my uh, hubs 
now because these are original hubs. Right. But I'm not as fast as Mitchell is. Which way do I go? Whatever you want. Oh, yeah. uh, it's only go right. Yeah, it's all right. All right. Yeah, let it rip, Tater Jim. After test driving this 2.5 swap Miata, I got super excited and I'm really looking forward to next weekend where I try to throw the engine in. Uh, we'll see what happens. That is all I have for you. Thank you for watching. Make sure that you enjoy your car.